All right, part five to start. I got a bucket hat on. <laughs> That's all you need to know. There are simple things to improve your score, like knowing where to miss, but you've heard of that before. So let's talk about the things that will actually lower your scores that you haven't heard of. All right, guys, I got 284 of the green, but just not worth it. So I'm just bunting a seven iron down there. Keep it short of the creek and then try to wedge it up and down. Golf isn't easy, but it's also not as hard as we make it out to be. Throughout this video, I will be going over the things you can implement into your game today. Right, I got 130 yards, just gonna go a little knockdown pitching wedge. To improve your scores. First thing is we need to get the bad thoughts out of our heads. This is the club. Ever since I almost hit you, Ooh. Taking a drop after blading that wedge. Got about 70 yards, just gonna go a little soft 54 degree and try to get one close. There's one reason and one reason only why I bladed that pitching wedge into the tall grass. Oh, I just hit the flag. I thought so. <laughs> That's awesome. It used to be my favorite club, but a few days before I bladed it and almost hit my dad. But it's a moment I couldn't get out of my head. Go away. You just scratch your nuts all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I thought my dad was scratching his berries behind me. All right, guys, I'm just going a little three iron. Now, instead of thinking about hitting a good shot, all I could picture was my dad hitting the deck, avoiding my knee-high hosel rocket heading for his cherry farm. Wasted. Wasted. All right, got about 150 yards. I'm going eight iron. The way we can work on improving this mental mindset is when we are on the range. All right, tie here. Birdie putt. Before every shot on the range, tell yourself you're going to strike it well and picture that ball flight you really want. But the reality is you will still hit bad shots because we are mid handicaps. All right, hole three, part four, dog leg right. I'm just going hybrid. So the second part of this is learning to laugh them off. Laughing off the bad shots will allow the memory to be wiped sooner than if you dwell on it. I got about 160, just gonna smooth a seven iron. Here I could see the ball flight. I went back to that layup I hit on the first hole with that could be great. My 7 iron and I pictured the exact same shot again. I hit a horrible first putt, but I wiped that from the memory bank and I put a confident stroke on the next one. And that's how we win at golf. I right, got about 162 uphill. I'm just going to go with a smooth 6 iron. I'm not uploading this video as if I'm the poster boy for the best practices on the golf course. It's 132. I haven't had any food in me, but you know, I've got a nice, nice Corona to start my day, so hopefully that helps the golf game. All right, let's clean this up. Watch me fail. I'm going to fail in these areas that I'm talking about and just learn from my mistakes. So the next thing we need to stop doing is chasing scores. As you will see over the next few holes, I started to get into a pretty good flow because after the early triple bogey, I thought breaking 80 would be out of reach. All right, 147, going 7 iron. So this means I'm not thinking about breaking 80. It's off my radar. And now I'm just focused at one shot at a time. All right, Ty's got this from way downtown. I'm not thinking about the tee shot on the next hole or the putt after my approach or anything. I'm just focused in the moment. It's looking pretty good. What a putt. It's like a two putt. <laughs> All right, hole six, 410 yards. I have no idea what the hole does, so kind of a hit and hope. And being present is the biggest thing that's really helped me lower my scores. It's pretty perfect, I'd say. All right, 132, I got 50 degree. And we can practice on being present outside of the golf course. And I'm meaning getting off of social media throughout the day, less screen time. Take it all day. Paying attention to where you are. So what, if you're playing a golf course, pay attention to the trees, pay attention to the grass, your playing partners. Don't be thinking about your 142, but it's uphill into the wind, so I'm going seven iron. Job or your Instagram post or anything. Just be there. Be the man with the plan. I knew short was jail, so I took way more club to make sure I didn't flirt with the goalie. Yeah, I was not the best struck golf ball. I hit that seven iron so poorly, but because I erred on being long, I was still in a great position to make par. Side note, we were starting to get some pressure from the marshal about our pace good? of play right. due to filming, yeah. hence the gimme here. All right, hole seven, kind of an interesting par five. Just same thing, just a smooth driver and get one in play. It's a par four, isn't it? Oh, oh par four. So having a plan on the golf course isn't about execution. I blink when I hit that. It's about margin for error. Make a plan, swing with confidence, and learn from your mistakes. All right, got about 218. Got some tree trouble here, but hopefully I can just get one short of the green. 
I knew hitting a long iron would get me clear of the mound in front of me and still have the potential to get near the green, or even on the green. Here's Ty, just finished a bit right. I'm filming from the green. I played the chip exactly how I wanted to, but I had a bad plan because I thought the green get sloped down. severely left to right, and I would have known that if I walked up to the green to actually look. Just never came back. Tough to kind of see this hole, but it's pretty much straight. Yeah. Got water on the right side. Not much room to start one right, so I'm going hybrid. Just gonna try work a little draw down there. That was a very daunting tee shot. It's not a draw, but it's fine. Due to how little room there was to start the ball right, but I committed to the shot and the outcome was solid. 162, I got an eight iron. <laughs> Emotions got me here, but I sipped some swing oil got over That's it great. and hit a great bunker shot. All right guys, starting the back nine off with a little island green here. It's only 115 yards, but this wind is just coming into pretty good. So I think I'm just gonna go with a soft nine iron and uh, see how it goes. I chose nine iron because I knew even a flushed one wouldn't go over the green, but my miss hit would still cover the water. A little long, but safe shot. Ty for his birdie putt here. We're definitely stealing a read here. And he drains it. Wow. Well done. Wow. <laughs> got some Canadian geese here in the background. All right. Got par four, long one into the wind. So just got to keep one kind of low and up the fairway. Buddy, you're in danger, man. <laughs> He's shaking his ass at me now. That's pretty perfect. I love how the goose actually ducked that tee shot. Nice bucket, all right, here's bucket hat. Bucket hat, Braga. Got 163 downhill, but into wind. I'm going seven. I'm going. This was a lack of commitment. I could have hit eight or seven as long as I committed to it. Instead, I hit a nervy seven iron and I'm playing in the forest like a child. Right behind the tree. What a lie here for Ty. I don't think you could do that again if you tried. Yeah, this is. I'm getting the full experience at Bear Mountain right now. I just got put it there and try to get up and down for bogey. Come on, folks. All right, hit and hold. Good shot, huh? Very nice. Thank you. Yeah, you had it. All right, short par four here. I'm par five, sorry. I'm going to go after one. You can always swing hard at driver if you have the room. On this tee shot, I did, so it's allowed. What do you say you had to go look for a ball? All right, got 230, I'm gonna go hybrid. Did I blade it? Yes, but I also knew that because of the slope, I could air long. I'd rather be out of the bunker long than chunk it and still be in the beach. Uh, par five up the hill, going driver. I got 265 up the hill, going hybrid. We start to rush again here due to pace of play, leading to bad club selection and poor management. I think that's screwed. <laughs> Really? It's pin high, just right. All right, long, long birdie putt for Ty. Forty-five, one of the nicer views in golf. A little knockdown nine. Oh, gonna work. Oh, Watching that bunker. Down. Got this lip to deal with here. Flash and dash. 
Honestly, I'm just happy it's out. <laughs> Same as me. This is a putt I know I can make nine times out of 10, but I rushed it and didn't stick to my routine. Well, driver's not the play, but I'm wearing a bucket hat so I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I now realized I still have an opportunity to break 80, but I started chasing my score. Bad idea, Ty. That's, be good. That's great. I don't know. Okay, I got 160 going to eight iron. Let's bet 20 bucks. Alright. <laughs> I bet you dinner. Thanks. Looks like dad's buying dinner. Great putt. Is that your par? Yeah. Nice. Alright, I got 198. Going five iron. Just a really smooth one. It's playing way downhill, so. Oh god, I think that's got to sit. Just a little long. Good chip. That's good. Again, a putt I normally make, but rushing and not committing oh. to a line leads to miss putts all day long. All right, I don't know if it's drivable or not, but it kind of looks drivable. So I'm going right at that house on the corner, downhill, downwind, give it a rip. Oh, Ty, bad time. Don't hit a house, don't hit a house. Hey, hit the tree. Hit the tree. Bad time for a Honda. I got 90 yards, just a little soft 60. I had to drop, so this is my third shot. I'm actually still completely fine with this club selection and the result. I was confident with driver and I made a good swing. It was a bad outcome, but that will happen at this level of golf. Walking away with bogey is very acceptable. All right, last hole here, long par five, down the hill, going driver. Moral of the story is practice positivity. Know that poor shots should lead to good outcomes with a good plan. Got about 280 just laying up with a seven iron. I don't have it in me to go for it, so. And don't chase scores. Focus on the task at hand, task being whichever shot you're on, whether it's in life or on the golf course, period. Yeah, it's perfect. I do not have the club for this. All right, about 87 yards, I got 50 degree. Not the right club, but I'm not going back to the jet, so. Now. Just not the right club. It was never the club. Good touch. Well, first round of bucket hat complete. <laughs> Notable.